I've learned a couple of lessons from square foot gardening this year. It's my first year. I've learned two major lessons and I want to share those with you today. Two lessons about square foot gardening. Well, after a rocky start, my garden, my square foot garden has become a monster. There's cucumbers on the left there. There's green beans on the right, which I haven't gotten any off of, but I see a lot of blooms now. I wasn't getting any before. Um, basil on the end there. There's some borage right there, but as you can see, my tomatoes have literally taken over everything. The first lesson, when planting your tomatoes and your beds, yeah, you can plant them in one square foot and they will thrive in one square foot, but look what has happened. They have literally become a jungle of tomato plants. They're taking over everything. They're even coming through the um, trellis that I had set up for the green beans and the cucumbers they are just everywhere so yeah you can grow a tomato plant in one square foot but you need to be careful about how much they're going to take over everything so probably next year I will be spacing those farther apart and I'll probably go back to putting the tomatoes in their own bed you can even see on the end of the bed here how they're falling over uh, the back side there. The other major thing I learned is that you should mulch heavily, thickly, and you should mulch right away. Don't wait because you can see here where I've mulched underneath that tomato plant. I don't have many weeds to speak of at all down in there but if you take a look over just on this end where I ran out of mulch and it's very little mulch you see purslane growing there and things just weeds are just kind of uh, popping up everywhere where I don't have the mulch and you can see over in this bed that really didn't get mulched at all except around the cabbage um, all the purslane growing up there in the grass and the weeds so lesson learned, if you work full time, you don't have a ton of time to spend in the garden, um, make sure that you do go through the proper steps of putting a thick mulch down. See over here, I do have, I did have some dill come along. We've harvested quite a bit out of here. We've got the beets out of here. We've gotten the, um, gotten the radishes out of here. You see we've got, giant cabbages which I'm just going to break some of these leaves off so they can put that energy into making that head of cabbage and I'll probably do that to that one in the middle too but these these green ones are smaller so they'll be all right like they are they're getting some good heads of cabbage on them and we've harvested all the lettuce out of that area that we got quite a bit the other day. With working full time, this garden has been somewhat neglected, except for watering, of course. Um, but the weeding part, yeah, neglected. Over here, there's a couple of more cabbage that got ravaged by pests uh, at the beginning of the season. So those are real small. I don't really know if I'm going to get anything from those, but we've got some more rocky top lettuce growing there. My onions, pretty much a bust. They did not do well this year. I have harvested quite a few jalapeno peppers. I'm going to be making pickled peppers. These are called Yolo Wonder peppers and I'm gonna wait until they turn red they're a red pepper these tomatoes were spaced much better than the garden we just took a look at these are my 
delicious tomatoes. Here you see one right there that I'm about to pick. But you see they are falling all over onto the ground as well. You see the far bed over there that has nothing in it now. We just harvested potatoes out of there. We got eh, an okay crop for what we planted. I was a little disappointed, but an okay crop for what we planted. Thanks for watching today, and if you haven't hit that subscribe button, go ahead and do that if you'd like to follow uh, and watch us build our homestead. At some point this fall, we'll be breaking ground on a Four Seasons greenhouse, and you won't want to miss it. As always, have a great day.